Hey guys, welcome to Initiate Science Yeah, where science meets you. If you are new to this channel, then do press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon. Prohibition. What is prohibition? Is there need for prohibition? Infringement of fundamental right. Advantages of prohibition. Disadvantages of prohibition. Loss of revenue. Best left to the individual. The word prohibition owes its genesis from the word prohibit, which means ban. In this case, it is to ban the use of intoxicant beverages by the rule of law. It is a known fact that addiction to wine or liquor has led many a family to ruins, while at the same time its imposition on the on its citizens is seen as an infringement of their fundamental rights. It is indeed a serious question of moral and ethics that the various state governments are trying to address. Imposition of prohibition is desirable as it comes as a severe to many a family which were on their way to ruins. It has been observed that the people who are generally not well off, especially of the labor, class fall easy prey to addiction. Labor class fall easy prey to addiction. What normally starts as a minor flirtation for overcoming weariness or frustration gradually becomes a habit so much so that they spend their entire earnings on drinks ruining themselves as well as their families. The state cannot be a mute witness to this state of affairs. For such people not only become a curse for their family but also a nuisance to the society. However, not all people become drunkards. People drink for enjoyment, for overcoming weariness and for some it is a matter of aping the Jones so as to be in fashion. Alcoholic drinks have been known to be good for health if taken within limits as confirmed by medical experts. It is also known to provide relief to people staying in cold climatic conditions. Enforcement of prohibition is also an undue interference by the state in the private life of an individual. It is in fact an infringement on his fundamental right to live freely. Notwithstanding the above, there are many advantages which can be attributed to enforcing prohibition. Not only does it safeguard the lives of the common man, but we can save numerous lives which are sniffed out due to reckless driving of cars and motor vehicles. Under the influence of liquor, it is also known to have a corrupting influence on the youth and gives rise to complicated social problems that we can do without. However, enforcing prohibition is easier said than done. It gives rise to a plethora of other problems like uh, bottle legging and trafficking in illicit liquor. While the former provides encouragement to antisocial elements and makes a mockery of the law, the latter gives rise to a parallel uncontrolled industry. This is far more dangerous as there are numerous instances of these illicit breweries serving poisonous brew to the poor laborers, killing them in large numbers. Those that are spread, spared death or maimed for life, either becoming blind or paralyzed. The state in turn losses considerable revenue in the form of excise duty and sales tax. This leads to a resource crunch adversely affecting the development and social welfare activities of the state. Such is the reliance of the state on this revenue that quite a few states had as a result of popular sentiments imposed prohibition in their state. But after some time they had to roll back the thing. A specific example being the state of Andhra Pradesh where after a brief stint of prohibition it was done away with. It is of paramount importance that the public should be educated in the evils of excessive drinking. The glamour and macho illusions depicted in advertisements should be countered 
and its consumption in public places should be banned. After having suitably educated the public, it should be left to the discretion of the individual who should know what is best for him. Video that